Hello, everyone. Tom from everystepphysics.com, everystepcalculus.com. Um, I'm going to do a physics problem in this video regarding trajectories or throwing an object in the air. And I'm going to read it here. A playground is on the flat roof of a city school six meters above the street below. The vertical wall of the building is seven meters high, forming a one meter high railing around the playground. A ball has fallen to the street below, and passerby returns it by launching it at an angle of 53 degrees above the horizontal at a point 24 meters from the base of the building wall. The ball takes 2.2 seconds to reach a point vertically above the wall. A. Find the speed at which the ball was launched. B. Find the vertical distance by which the ball clears the wall. And C. Find the horizontal distance from the wall to the point on the roof where the ball lands. Well, we notice that we don't have any velocity here, and you need velocity uh, to do any trajectories problems. Uh, thing about velocity, when you throw a ball in the air, what's the angle that you threw it at, and what's the initial velocity when you throw a ball in the air? Velocity is found by experimentation. If you threw the ball in the air and you knew how far it landed, and um, the angle that you threw it at, and the time, and somebody timed it when it hit the ground, you can calculate the velocity. Otherwise, it's just given all the time in physics, but it's, it's, not, uh, it's not there very easy, let me tell you. It takes experimentation, including in calculus. So let's do it in my program here for physics. Physics, to get to my main menu, we're going to scroll down to ball thrown. And we're going to find the initial velocity by choosing number three. Ask for the angle. You have to press alpha before you enter anything in these entry lines in my programs. Alpha, 53. Distance given, alpha, 24. Meters, number two. And the time they give, alpha, 2.2 seconds. Uh, I always show you what you've entered. You can change it if you want. Looks good to me, so I'm going to choose number one. And here's the initial velocity, 18.127 meters per second, using this formula here. We want to remember that now. We're going to go back, and we're going to choose ground level now, because we're launching it from the ground. And the initial velocity is what we just found, alpha 18.127. And meters per second squared, or no, meters per second. The angle is alpha 53 degrees. I say it's OK. Now we have these choices. We've already found A, the speed. Speed is a scalar. It has no direction. Uh, velocity is a vector. It has direction and magnitude. Speed just has magnitude. There's no direction. Uh, they call that a scalar in uh, physics and math. Uh, so what we're going to find here now is find the vertical distance by which the ball clears the wall. So we we get given we want to know how high the ball is at 24 meters uh, from the launch point to the building. So we're going to choose number six, the height at a distance. We're going to enter the distance, alpha, 24 meters. I say it's OK. And here's the formula. You can go back and slow this down. I'm, I'm doing it for time to keep the video short, short as possible. Um, you can go back and look at the formula, write that if you're learning about this stuff. 
and we can see that 8.1089 meters above the at the point of 24 meters down the to the wall. Well, the building it says is seven meters with the railing, so you take 8.1 and we and uh, take away seven, we got 1.1089 meters above the railing. So that's what you'd put down in your answer for number B. Uh, we're going to go back, find the vertical, find the C is find the horizontal distance from the wall to the point on the roof where the ball lands. Um, now we're going to find um, the building is six meters high, so we're going to find distance at a height, number four. And we know that the final height is alpha six meters. We want to know what the height of the of the ball is at that point. And again, meters. Say it's okay. We have to use a quadratic formula. So we're going to set that up here now. Here's here's d squared and d, and then the height here. I show you the, this is the setup of it. This is A, B, and C in the quadratic formula. Remember, this is a square here, D squared and D, whatever you're trying to find. Sometimes it's time squared or time, whatever. You're finding the values. Um, so here's the formula for the quadratic formula. And then we enter all our variables. And the answer is 26.757 meters. Pretty neat, huh? Everystepphysics.com. Go to my site. You can subscribe and see other movies I might make if that interests you. It doesn't interest me, but I mean, if you're into physics, go ahead and do it. Have a good one.